What's up guys, this is Adam from 3dmodesworld.com Welcome to another Maya tutorial And today we're gonna create this really cool shattering effects And we're gonna have this bottle basically falling down As you can see and get shattered into like 100, 150 pieces And we're gonna be doing this using the bullet uh, simulation engine in Maya And we're gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how to quickly shatter this glass uh, Without doing any modeling or uh, any kind of like uh, manual work so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, so this is the scene I have and this is the wine bottle we're gonna be using for our tutorial. And uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to basically shatter this glass into multiple pieces. We wanna have it first uh, spread into like multiple pieces, like a lot of them basically. So we don't wanna do this manually. We don't wanna be selecting these faces and start to uh, you know deleting them and extracting and modifying the shapes we don't want to do that because that's going to take a really long time so the way to do it is basically if you go to effects and then if you go here to this effects menu and then if you, if you click in this shatter and you're gonna get this option box with uh, all these settings so let's reset the settings and then there's a multiple ways to do the shattering first is a solid shatter and that's basically gonna have like chunks so if I click create now and then uh, if you look at these pieces if we pull some of them let's select like any one of them and then pull it you can see that this is really like very thick and basically chunks and uh, you know the glass bottle is really like thin uh, slices so this is not gonna work in our case so let's delete this one then let's select the bottle again and then let's go to that chatter again and then let's reset the settings and then this surface shatter that's what we're gonna be using this crack is just gonna be cracking the, um, the surface so we don't want to use that we want to use the surface one so let's reset the settings on it so this surface basically it have here the counts and then here it have an extrude <coughs> because now if we do this uh, shatter let's do that and then show you what we got so this way you guys know what results so you can see this is pretty good but it's really thin so we want it to be thicker so that's what we're gonna be using except we're gonna be having a thicker result so let's go to this again one last time so for the counts let's start changing that so let's make it 150 150 pieces and then this extrude that's what we're gonna be doing now we want to make sure though we go a really low number we don't want to too thick so we go like uh, negative also we don't want the extrude to be outside so then it become bigger than this bottle we don't want that so negative 0 0.1 something like that and then everything here we can keep it the same this post operation we need to keep it shape we don't want to change it to rigid or soft body let's keep it as default so let's click create okay so it's done and now we have uh, 150 pieces i assume 119 maya created 119 not exactly what we requested but it's pretty close so let's see so this one piece here and then you can see here there's a little bit extrude going and that's pretty good so that's pretty cool so now we have the two bottles the original one here and then the one that's been created as well let's click two-sided lighting so this way we can see properly so now they both have the same shader it inherited the same okay so let's select all these pieces now and then we need to convert them into um, a simulation using the bullet physics so let's go to bullet and let's click here active rigid body and let's reset the settings so we get is uh, the default we don't need to change anything here except the collider shape type and that's collider shape type basically it gonna simulate the shape of these uh, pieces so box and sphere and all these is not gonna work because they these pieces are unique and each one is different so want to make sure we create an auto compound so this way it's gonna make it uh, uh, basically matching the same shapes that's the only thing we need to change here and I click apply okay once done and then let's go back and then let's change this timeline like 200 and let's press play you can see here all the pieces scattered all over the place so that's a good sign that's mean we have everything working so let's create a quickly a ground 
so this ground can catch all these pieces so let's create a plane and let's scale it up let's keep scaling something like that and let's lower it down as well and let's go to this uh, bullet again to passive this time we need to passive and then res reset it and box will do enough since this plane is just one shape let's click apply and close okay we don't need the grid anymore so let's hide it and let's press play okay so you can see that all the pieces fell down simulation looks pretty stable so that's cool okay so that's good so now we know everything works let's select all these pieces and let's look at the settings here let's do some basic changes here so it can enhance the simulation so first the mass now it's set to 1 so let's increase it to 10 make it heavier and let's see okay there's another thing we want to change is let's go to the solver itself the bullet solver here and then let's go to the settings here to the bullet solver shape and let's uh, start playing with this uh, internal fixed frame rate so this basically controls the quality of the simulation so now it's kind of like the lowest so let's put it to 240 so this is gonna have a more calculation and more accuracy so let's press play okay things is going crazy and let's adjust another thing you want to speed things up let's uh, change this uh, gravity here and uh, basically enhance it because now things are really slow as you can see it takes a really long time and there's a lot of things going on here so let's stabilize it by enhancing this gravity this can enhance the speed as well so now negative 90 instead of 9 and let's press play so you can see now things gets a lot more stable and things settle a lot quicker now because before it was way too slow so like let's put it back so you guys can see how this difference is really big when you adjust the gravity you can see here how everything just rotating too much because there's not enough gravity to pull everything and make it uh, you know quickly like in real life so negative 90 usually does the job now things uh, looks a lot more stable okay so you can see here we can rotate okay so that's pretty cool so now we got everything kind of working uh, let's do one more thing here let's start working with the animation itself so the height is pretty good here let's take this bottle here and then let's put it inside this group this shatter group so we get both of them together and now what we want to do is basically let's say we want to have like 15 frames of the bottle falling and then breaks so I let's go to this bullet solver again and then I'm gonna show you guys here there's this start time and that's determined when starting the simulation gonna be so now it's at frame 1 that's why when you press play it immediately start and we don't want that we said let's go around 15 so frame 15 the simulation gonna start so when you press play nothing happened and then at frame 15 uh, the simulation begins so then let's select this group and let's raise it up a little bit and then maybe let's rotate it this way just to do some kind of animation of this bottle falling so let's press uh, s here to set the keyframe on frame 1 and let's go to frame 15 and let's lower it down hit the ground something around that and maybe let's rotate it a little bit more like this way you can even rotate it this way as well just play around with it and then press s so now we have the the bottle should fall and then let's go to the graph editor quickly let's select the y and then here let's uh, adjust the animation because now you can see it's slowing out but then it slows uh, back in here and we don't want that we want the momentum to keep going so let's enhance it something like this drop and let's go to the rotations as well 
And let's just keep it rotating so it doesn't stop toward the end. Let's see, let's change that for all of them. Something like that should work. So let's go back here and then let's play. Okay. So let's look again. So let's start adjusting this uh, visibility. Now we have both of them showing at the same time and we don't want that. So let's select all these uh, pieces and then we want them to be hidden at the beginning. And the only time we want them to show up at frame 16. So let's go frame 16 and click key selected. So this uh, way they are visible in frame 16. And let's go back one frame and then hide them. Let's, so this way they turn off. And then let's select this bottle. And then uh, here at frame 15 it's showing. And then at frame 16 it hides. Let's click key selected in here. Let's go back and let's play the animation. Okay. So let's do a quick play blast and see what we got. Okay, let's press play. You can see some piece goes all over, <laughs> fly really high. So you can see now the glass breaks. We can adjust some of the quick settings here to stabilize the simulation. It looks pretty cool. It's already like uh, have the breaking in it. So let's go back here and then let's select go to frame 16 where everything breaks and then let's select that. Okay, and then let's do some quick changes here. So the friction, let's make it lower because we want the grass to slide a little bit more. We don't want too much friction to happen. So let's press play. And you can see here this, the grass is going to spread a little bit more. Okay, and then this damping, we can also play with these settings just to basically dampen the simulation a little bit so it's not so, so not freely keep moving around. So let's go with the angular damping, something around 0 0.4, and the linear maybe like 0 0.1. Like really low settings, don't want to go too high with these uh, settings here. Let's press play. Okay, so you know, just become more stable simulation. Let's go like frame 100 here and let's do a quick uh, play blast. Let's press play. And you can see here, it become much more stable. Of course, if you have like more smaller pieces, it will be better. We have some big pieces here, but uh, this is just a quick tutorial, just to show you guys how this kind of effect could be could be done. And uh, you can see, because the smaller pieces looks really cool, some of the two big pieces could be broken down even more. And then the only thing you can do is basically keep playing with the friction and the damping just to get like the look and the feel that you're looking for and that's how you basically do it for this kind of simulation so hopefully this tutorial helped you guys let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want to get notified when i publish a new video feel free to check our website 3dmodelsworld.com for more tutorials and cool 3d assets until next time take care